Hi everyone, welcome back to another video um, and another addition, I guess, to the layout. Um, been quite a lot recently, but as you can see, it is another A4. I've got um, two already. I've got the Golden Eagle, which is sitting over there at the moment, and I've got the Silver Link, um, which I'm, I'm pretty certain I've showed on the, the channel before. But um, yeah, this is another one. It's in a different livery. I haven't got this livery at the moment. Um, I'm trying to work out which which liveries I haven't. I haven't got one in black, but that might be changing at some point. And the green, um, the green sort of like you know, what would be Union of South Af Union of South Africa. Uh, that's sort of current colour scheme. Um, I haven't, but this is sort of mallard current mallard blue. We've got the BR blue over there, which the Sir Nigel Gresley at the moment. Uh, the real engine is obviously in, um, and then I've got the white uh, with the silver link. So, so yeah, this is um, not a new engine. Came out in 2008. To well, let me just show you the box. Actually, that'd be easier. Um, to celebrate 70 years of Hornby, um, so it was a special limited edition, and came in this rather fancy sort of looking. Um, box which I guess is made to commemorate Hornby Dublo so you can see down there 2008 was when it came out so it's by no means a new engine but the condition that I got it in is pretty much near near perfect um, it is I guess a bit of history and Sir Nigel Gresley obviously designed Flying Scotsman and the A4s such as the Mallard which broke the speed record this current configuration is identical to how the Mallard is at the moment and I believe when it what it was like when it broke the speed record so this colour scheme with number on the front the LNER number obviously um, LNER on the tender this sort of blue um, I'm not entirely sure if there's a special name for this blue um, obviously the British Rail blue is a bit darker over there Oh, maybe it's garter blue. I think it's garter blue, actually. Or something like that. Um, we've got the red wheels, which I don't know how well you can sort of see. But those are red. A bit darker than that sort of swoosh sort of there. Um, and then we've got the cowling sort of covering uh, covers over the wheels. Um, if you see the... Sil the oh, what's it? Golden Eagle, sorry. That covering isn't there. So this sort of that line there is the line of the bodywork and it doesn't come down below but this one sort of does just to make it I guess a bit more streamlined but for whatever reason British Rail decided to get rid of that when they put them into BR although I have actually seen images of the real Sir Nigel Gresley in this livery but without those casing so so yeah I'm not entirely sure the reason um, behind all the switching but yeah, this is not the Mallard, it's not 4468, it's 4498. So it's Sir Nigel Gresley, named after the designer himself. And yeah, it's there's probably going to be thousands of sort of reviews on the internet about A4s. Um, but this one is, I guess, just a little bit special because it's Sir Nigel Gresley. Um, and it's that special sort of, um, it's got the special box as well. So... I, I'll take you through a little bit of a, a tour of the engine. Um, we got lots of um, detailing down on the front here. We've got um, the the little slat things there to put um, lamps and discs for the route um, designations on. Got the the chimney there with um, the whistle on the front. Um, we've got. There's a little fact that I found out apparently about the chimney that that little, there's a little dip just behind it and that was an accident on the design or something that was accidentally put in um, because the, basically when they first started doing the the smoke sort of tended to carry along the boiler which is not what you want and there was a little dip that they accidentally put in the design afterwards when they were trying to sort it out and then that actually made the smoke sort of, I guess, get shot up and, I guess, solve the issue. Um, not entirely sure. I can't remember where I heard that. Maybe it was at the Railway, Railway Museum or something like that. But um, 
I'm pretty certain it was for this engine that that was the case. Uh, we've got the big name plates on the side. Um, got the little foot, I guess this could be a walkway for if they needed to go along the side of the engine with a little handrail along the top. Um, what else do we have? We're back here. Well, I'll go underneath for a bit first. We've got the undercarriage down there, obviously finished in the um, sort of maroon sort of colour with the white pinstriping that follows all the way along to the rear of the engine. That pinstriping is also um, around that front sort of window. We've got the number on the side, 4498, um, and LNER down here on the tender. The cab has these little roof slats which you can move back and forward depending on your sort of preference. It is a corridor tender, so I guess um, some of them actually, uh, for some reason or another, do not have that. The Golden Eagle over there doesn't. Um, but yeah, I'm not really too bothered about. I'm not a sort of. I'm not a f particular sort of fan of either. Well, not a fan. I like both, but I, I don't preference. Uh, prefer sorry, one to the other. So with that being a corridor tender, you've obviously got the little corridor bit going down there and then back to the door. Got the coal in the back there, the little water supply area there. And I don't know how well you can see that, but you've got quite nice cab detailing inside as well. So, so yeah, that's the engine really. It was more um, just a sort of general sort of, I guess, to show you, because um, it is quite a special engine. Uh, so Nigel Gresley is obviously being um, restored up at the museum, uh, National Railway Museum at the moment. So I'm hoping that at some point soon, a model um, in the same livery as the Golden Eagle will be coming out shortly, as I believe that is the color that they're gonna um, paint it again once it has been restored. But obviously, Sir Nigel Gresley himself is one of the the main sort of um, I guess pinnacle railway designers um, and I, yeah I just thought it was a nice nice engine to get um, and I've always wanted sort of one in this mallard um, star livery um, it's obviously not the correct term for it but that's just how I remember it um, so yeah I'm very pleased with it it is DCC fitted as I've got it, um, so I'll have to switch over the systems at the moment and yeah, then show you some of it running. But but yeah, hope you like what you see. Um, probably, or well, almost definitely not gonna be the last A4 that I'll get, but it's definitely a nice um, addition to the collection. So yeah, hope you enjoy the next sort of upcoming little running session and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.